Good morning, everybody. Saturday morning, and it is dry, dead, nothing. I hit up a few sales already and haven't scored anything, but the sale across the street. Um, first off, I got this for $2.75. Pretty good deal. Uh, the car coming. Um, but the guy has Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, Sega Genesis. He has all of them. They're in storage. Now, he wasn't expecting to sell them, but he doesn't have any really a attachment to them. They're just sitting in storage, and they're moving out of state. So he told me, give him a call on Monday. I'm going to meet him at the storage facility, and hopefully it's going to pay off pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about that. A couple days from now, um, hopefully that all pays off, and I get a pretty big lot. So cross my fingers on that one but today I mean it ain't looking so great but like I've said in the past it only takes one to change a day so I'm you know gonna keep grinding go, going uh, sign to sign sale to sale and uh, see what I can find I see a sign or uh, a state sale I don't really like going to a state sale so much unless it says video games but yeah um, I'll see you guys in a bit when I find something else all right guys another score here at the sale back there for 10 bucks. I got two Wii games, Mario Galaxy and Mario Kart. It has been a crap day. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I know I'm gonna get that stuff on Monday because I'm gonna meet the guy at the storage unit. So that's gonna work out. Um, but you know, that's Monday, that's not today. So <laughs> um, I've, I've gone to so many places where they said, yeah, they had games, uh, but the person, <clears throat> the person who owns them or whatever wasn't there. One of them, the guy said it was at his mother's house across the street. He had Sega stuff, but she didn't answer the phone. Another one, I got to physically hold the Super Nintendo games, but they, the the girl wouldn't, she, she couldn't sell them without her husband um, like asking him first, which I totally understand. Um, but I got to see what they were, so I was able to put an offer on the table so that she could relay it to the husband. So. We'll see if she gets back to me on that. Um, but other than that, nah, it hasn't been anything today. So, I mean, I mean, it's still going. It's still uh, not too late. Um, but, uh, but yeah, if I find something else, I'll let you guys know. If not, I'll show you obviously the few things I got right here. And then uh, <clears throat> I made a pickup uh, yesterday. It wasn't too bad. So I'll show you guys that too. So yeah, see you guys in a bit. What's up everybody? <clears throat> So all done with the garage sale stuff and I could probably say that it, this is, I mean I still found stuff but this is probably one of the worst weekends um, for garage sales. Now it's Memorial Day weekend and there just wasn't that many sales out, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, on vacation or hanging out with their families and stuff so, I mean, you know, it is what it is. It usually, that, that usually happens on uh, weekends, you know, there's a big holiday so... <clears throat> but I mean it's still cool I got uh there was three things I found at garage sales and then the rest of the stuff is just stuff I got from the week but I mean some some all right stuff so let's do uh, the garage sale stuff first um, okay now this one this first one I'm gonna show you is gonna hopefully pay off really well I walk up to the sale and I see a bunch of ps2 games uh, sitting on a like a shelf with a bunch of DVDs so I'm digging through them, and uh, there was just this this kid uh, out in the sale, like, moving stuff around. So I asked him, I was like, hey, you happen to have any other video games? You know, I started naming a list, and he's like, well, I got Wii games. And I was like, all right. So he, he ran in to go get them, and then his mom came out. And uh, I was just talking to her, and I, I was asking her the same question, you know, but directing it towards, like, retro stuff. And she was like, yeah, my husband has a Nintendo. Um, she's like, if you want, you can go in the back. He's at over by the garage. I was like, oh, okay, cool, thank you. So I walked back there. And I'm talking with him, the sun comes out, um, and uh, long story short, he has Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, Sega um, in his storage. So on Monday, uh, I'm going to give him a call in the morning and meet him at the storage unit place because he has to go there anyways and hopefully end up buying everything he's got. So um, he, he says he's got quite a bit, so we'll, we'll see, hopefully that pays off, but um, the, the stack of Wii games, this is the only one I got for, uh, three bucks, well, two dollars and seventy-five cents, just because they didn't have change, and it was the change that I had in my pocket. Um, Super Mario, or Mario Super Sluggers, so pretty good. Um, it's actually a pretty fun game. 
missing the manual, but I'm not going to complain for 275. Um, okay, so after that, driving around, you know, I was pretty stoked. Um, it, it, I'm pretty sure that Monday is going to pay off. So I'm driving around, uh, wasn't finding anything. One of the last sales I went to, asked them if they had games. At first they said no, and then uh, they were like, well, wait, don't we have that Wii? And he's like, oh, I totally forgot about it. So he runs inside and grabs the games. Um, so for five bucks each, I got uh, Super Mario Galaxy and Mario Kart Wii. Mainly only because I wasn't finding anything else. I was like, eh, I'll just grab these ones. They're pretty good condition, and they're complete. So five bucks each. Um, so that was it for garage sales. Like I said, there wasn't that much. Uh, I did go to a couple pawn shops and thrift stores, but most of them, the ones that I frequent a lot, they had pretty much the same stuff. So, um, okay, so this was a pickup uh, midweek. I paid 20 bucks for this. Um, amazing deal. It was only missing the manual, but uh, still an amazing deal for 20 bucks. Um, original Mario Bros. Arcade Classic Series in the box. So box, cart, and sleeve, and then it's got styrofoam and stuff. So just missing the manual. Um, definitely uh, stoked to get this one. I had this game. Um, I ended up selling it, and then I couldn't find it again. So to find it again, but in the box, is pretty amazing. So it's going to look nice up there with uh, the rest of my black box collection. <clears throat> um, this next one, this was a trade. I had a... I have a box of like just random games, you know, cheap games. And uh, this guy came, this guy came and, and got a bunch of games, and uh, we just did a trade for uh, Super Smash Bros. Melee. So he got some stuff for his collection, and I got something I can use as trade bait and whatnot. Um. Okay. So this is the last one. This um this was an offer up score. Uh, it was listed as a PS1, um, ten bucks. So I hit the guy up, and I ended up going over there, and he ended up being a, a fan of my channel, so that was pretty cool. Um, so he brings out the PS1 stuff, and uh, most of it is, uh, there's there's a few games in there that made sense, but most of it is either empty cases or missing the manual. Um, but, I mean, still a couple of them I, you know, I can use and stuff. And then he had uh, some Sega stuff and a DS game so for 20 bucks I got everything I'm about to show you so I'll show you the the cart stuff first um, first Pokemon white and I have an empty case manual for that so that's cool um, second a more uncommon Sega Genesis game that I didn't have in my collection uh, risky woods so that's a pretty good one right there and then this one he gave to me for free because he said it didn't it didn't work so hopefully I can open it up and see what's going on in there uh, GoldenEye 007. So pretty good. I mean, the label's not too bad. Um, there were three controllers. We got a PS1, PS2, and then another PS2, but like an aftermarket uh, Mad Cats, I think. I'll go through the PS2 games first. These are these are all complete. Well, at least they all had the disc, and then there was a disc only. Uh, Smackdown, Sh Smackdown, shut your mouth. <laughs> um, then we got cars. Uh, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball. This hair is bugging me. I'm gonna grab my hat. Uh, NFL Game Day 2002. MLB 2005. Gran Turismo 4, and ATV Off-Road Fury, and the PS1 games, there's a couple computer games in here, but I don't care about that stuff, <clears throat> alright, so we got a disc only of Need for Speed 2, disc only of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and then probably one of the better games in the lot. I didn't have this one. Uh, Mortal Kombat 4. Not too, not too common. Kind of more uncommon on the PS1. A little harder to find. Um, this one was kind of weird. It's just, <laughs> it's just the backing um, for Sega GT for the Dreamcast. So that was kind of just thrown in there. Um, okay, let me 
show you guys these ones last. These are the only ones that were complete. Okay, so we've got uh, Jet Moto 3. Then obviously these ones are missing the manual. Jet Moto 2. There's another PS2 game, March Madness 2002. Uh, NBA Shootout 2004, NBA Shootout 2002. Uh, Air Combat, bottom of the ninth. This one, uh, interactive sampler disc. Now these ones, these ones kind of kind of sucked. Um, this is kind of like why I went to go check out the ad, but I ended up getting it anyways because ten bucks was pretty fair. Um, it's uh, Time Crisis and Spyro the Dragon. These are just the backings, but inside was uh, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX and NBA Live 99 so not so great but still not bad but these ones are all complete and I, I didn't have a lot of these ones I mean I'm not going for like a full PS1 collection by any means because there's a lot but I usually keep them whenever I don't have them in my collection uh, Destruction Derby 2 it's a really good game uh, Pro Pinball Cool Borders 3 Cool Borders 2, Andretti Racing, Moto Racer, I think I had a green label of this one so it was nice to get a black label, uh, Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, and then uh, Gran Turismo 2, so those, those are the ones that were all in there, so not a bad deal, I mean considering the Pokemon and then that Risky Woods, 20 bucks was really fair for that deal, I would have done that any day. Um, so it not not a super awesome week like last week. I mean, you know that like I said That's why it's my favorite community sale because I always come back with a lot of stuff But I mean it's still you know, I'm thankful to find anything every week, so Still uh, still good and I added a lot of stuff to the collection. So that's what it really boils down to um, But yeah, that's all I got you know short and sweet video uh, for garage sales. So thumbs up the video uh, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Oh, wait, wait. One more thing. Um, next Sunday is another Pixel Vault uh, Games trade event. So, um, definitely uh, come on out. It's uh, on the 5th on Sunday. Um, starts at 11 a.m. So, just come out, you know, bring some stuff to trade, sell, whatnot. I'll be out there, you know, doing what I do, sell, selling my extras and trading away stuff, you know, trying to build more of the collection. So, yeah. Come on out there and I hope to see you guys out there. So thumbs up the video, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.